Uh, it's finally here. 151 binder collection. This actually isn't the one I wanted to get. Uh, I actually just wanted to get an ETB, but they didn't have any ETBs, so I had to sell for this one, which unfortunately only gives four packs and gives you a giant binder. <laughs> Yeah, it's called the binder collection, as you can see there at the bottom. But we're going to open it up. We're going to actually check out the binder. Because uh, this thing, it feels heavy. It feels substantial. So we're going to see how nice this binder is. And then, of course, we're going to open up the packs. And I purposely did not check valuations on these Pokemon cards. Oh, I'm trying to open this thing. I didn't check valuations because I want to just open this and not freak out over one single card that I get immediately. And then, I don't know. But yeah, so, oh my gosh, this thing is so much glue. Okay, there we go. But yeah, like I said, this binder feels pretty substantial. Um, uh, maybe not, okay. <laughs> Once I took a little look at it there, I was like, yeah, maybe not. All right, so, I mean, it's pretty heavy. Uh, I don't know if how much you can see down there. I mean, it's not terrible. Um, I'm used to binders that are a little more, just more. <laughs> Here, let me get these packs out and then we'll look more at this, at this binder here. Let's get our packs out. There we are. Four packs, ten cards each. Okay. Plastic gone. Okay, so here's the binder. It's got a little strappy thing, so that's good. So let's move the little strappy thing to the back and let's open this up. And this. Um, hmm. Is this, is this upside down? Oh, they're side load. Okay. So it's side loading. That's not, that's not bad. Okay. Um, I'm not an expert on binders. I don't really use them all that much anymore. Uh, since most of the cards I get pretty much immediately go in the store and that means they get inventoried, posted, and then they get stuck in a penny sleeve and then they go into like a, like a, <clears throat> a big giant storage thing until they're sold. Um, I mean, I guess it feels okay. Uh, hmm. Considering these packs are usually what about five, five to five fifty each right now. To ha to get something like this for basically an extra five bucks, I guess that's actually not bad. I mean, if you if you actually do need a binder for your cards. Uh, you could have done a lot worse, <laughs> so, yeah, get that out of here. You know, I think I may actually keep this. I was thinking about just selling it, you know, just selling it basically for, like, $8 plus $5 shipping or whatever. I figured somebody would eventually buy it, just because it's a 151. Uh, but yeah, it seems okay. It's, it's not terrible. Um, I was hoping that it would be, it would have cardboard and not just, like, this plastic sort of thing. So that I could use it to help flatten any curling cards that I have, but yeah, it's not going to do that apparently. All right, so let's just move this back over here. Uh, so yeah, there is. There's the binder. Like I said, uh, you could do a lot worse. It's not bad. It's fine. All right, so we'll put you over here. And now the stars of the show, the packs. Yeah, uh, I I lied a little bit. I did check the prices, but like a, a week ago, and that's all like pre-sale prices. So you know that that's not going to be exactly what the prices are today now that it officially releases. But here we go. Scarlet and Violet 151. Let's see what kind of goodies we could get. Oh, there we are. oh, okay. Oh, and you do get a code card with it. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, sometimes these uh, kind of specialty packs don't always come with co code cards. So what do we got here? Let me zoom in a little bit more. There we are. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, okay, I'm taking a look at the card number. It's Mew. It says Mew on it. Okay, so I guess the code for this is Mew. Hmm. All right, so we got a Grimer. We got something fancy coming up. Uh, we got a Psyduck. Uh, hey, look at that, we got Eakins. And then we got, oh, Cubone. Cool, okay. So Cheering Bone, what is that? As long as this card is on your bench, attacks used by your Marowak do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Hmm, 
that's not terrible. Okay, pretty nice. And there are commons, and then we've got Doug Trio for our uncommon. Haunter, crazy artwork. Uh, Hitmonlee. And then we've got Graveler for the reverse. Ooh, oh, look at that. <laughs> it's Bulbathor. That's cool. Yeah, and it's a yellow star. So I think that's uh, something. I forget what it is. Is that like a illustrator rare, I guess? Okay. And being that he's one of the originals, uh, yeah, that's going to be worth a pretty decent amount. Okay. So we'll put you over here. And then we've got Electrode, which is miscut like heck. Oh my god. Wow, is that miscut. And then we get energy. Okay. So I guess the pack is okay. Oh, I see. I was for a second. I was like, "Hey, I only got one uh, reverse," but that's because I got the Bulbasaur. Okay, so we'll put the rare over here. All right. So first pack, actually pretty good. <laughs> we got. Uh, I, I'm guessing that'll pretty de be a pretty de uh, be a pretty decent hit, <laughs> just because it's one of those illustrator rares. But hopefully that will do rather well. Okay, what do we got here? Focus camera, come on. There we go. Poliwhirl. Kakuna. Poliwag. Really? We're doing all the polys here, huh? We're gonna get the whole set? Ponya. <laughs> leftovers. Yay, we all love leftovers. Uh, Persian. Rocket Call. What is that? Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Giovanni's Charisma card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Wow, that's a very specific. Ability. Okay. We got, oops, that goes over here. We got Muck. And then we've got Magnemite for the reverse. Oh, wow, the inking at the bottom. Take a look at that. Come on, camera focus. There we go. Look at that inking at the bottom. It's smeared. Okay. Interesting. Uh, wow. Okay. I just realized that these feel a little different. Okay. Put you over there. And we got Grimer. Marowak for the foil. And that's it. Yeah, um, not a great pack. All right, pack number three. Hopefully we get more than just the Bulbasaur. Because if I if that's all we get out of this open, I'm going to be a little bummed. Because I doubt that Bulbasaur is going to be, at, you know, a $25 card, which is how much this thing costs. So, yeah. I'd like to get at least one more hit, hopefully at least get my money back. All right, so we got ourselves a Paris. Voltorb, uh, Sandshrew, Krabby, Clefable for the Uncommon, Tentacruel, Hitmonlee, Matchop for the Reverse Common, eh, Omanite. I'm saying eh because I know since I got the second Reverse, I'm not going to get anything fancy. <laughs> Om Omanite, <laughs> okay, for the Reverse, and Weezing. I actually like that artwork, it's pretty neat. Let's have a blast for the ability. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is knocked out by damage from an attack for your opponent's Pokemon, flip a coin. If heads, the attacking Pokemon is knocked out. Hmm. That could be interesting. Okay. All right, here we are. Last pack. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you all see anything here from these cards that you want, I am going to be listing these uh, pretty much immediately. So I don't know exactly when I'll be posting this video. So who knows? Maybe... <laughs> maybe they'll all be gone. Or maybe they won't. Who knows? Alright. Last pack. Come on. Give us give us give us one more hit. One more hit. Come on. Alright, we got a Tangela. We've got a coughing. Another Eakins. Another Psyduck. And we got a Hypno. Oh, look, there's the polyrath. Now we have the whole set. <laughs> uh, we got a Pidget. Uh Doge Oh. Okay, I just realized that's a rare actually. Yeah, that's a reverse rare. So that's kind of neat. So we got a Reverse Rare Dodrio. Oh, an Articuno Reverse Rare. Okay, so we got two rares in this pack. I guess that's pretty good. And, oh, look at this. What do we got here? Alakazam. Wow, what a pack. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're just they're just regular, normally rares, but they're both reverse. So we got two Reverse Rares, and then we got an Alakazam EX for the, uh, for the double rare. Oh, that was an interesting pack. Okay. I mean, it's not the great. I don't think these are the greatest pulls, but at least that last pack gave us a little more, you know, than we normally would have gotten. Okay, so we got those two rares, and okay, interesting. Um, 
like I said, I really wish I would have gotten another one. But with four packs, that's about average. Because, <laughs> yeah, whenever you get, like, illustrator rares or specialty cards, secret rares, that kind of stuff, I've found that with Pokemon, it's generally about every fourth pack on average. I'm not saying that every time you open, you know, four packs, oh, there's another one, oh, there's another one. If you get them from different sources, obviously that's going to get jumbled up. But, yeah, it's on average it's about every four packs. So I guess it was an okay opening. Um, yeah. It was all right, I guess. Anyway, if I find more uh, Pokemon 151 stuff, I will definitely do videos on it, and I'll post it on the store in case you want it. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Sub all that YouTuber stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time.